universal, but not that universal. I know that. So what? Can I can I use the fire axe? How about that? I'm surprised no one fucking heard that. Distract those things carefully. I'm really surprised no one heard that. Okay, so here's the door. We can finally open it. I don't know why we couldn't just reach through and get the damn brick. It's fucking stupid as hell. Oh look, we finally have the goddamn brick. Jeez. We better get this on the first try, Lee, I swear to god. There we go. This whole time, I was like, the brick, get the brick, and I was like, I just can't reach the brick. Can't get the brick. God damn. Alright, time to see if he has the keys. We probably know he has the damn keys. Let's just go, let's get it. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Great. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to Mom and Dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. My god, man, why would you yell? You know the situation. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you are to take care of them. That helps. Well, looks like this is curtains. That is heavy shit, man. Gotta do it right. Gotta do it right. Are we just gonna keep laying into this guy? There we go. We should have done that in the first place, man. Should have done that in the first place. There we go. God. Done and done. Finally got those there damn go. keys. Sweet. Holy crap! Run! Why did you even yell? What? Wow. <laughs> Man, he took off pretty good. Man, that was close. Sure was. We did it. That's all that matters. Now, unfortunately, the gate is open. So hopefully, none of them bust in here. The keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Yeah, let's. All right. Into the door we go. There we are. Awesome. Done and done. This was... Oh, oh shit. shit. We gotta hurry. Fuck. <laughs> Trip the alarm, and now everyone is going to be after us. My god, that is loud. Better disable that thing. Well, that's horrible. Awesome. Come on, every time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back! Do it fast! 
Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defense is well, up till Well, I end. guess we got Lee, that guy's medicine on the way to my truck. <laughs> He's walking. Right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Descent into chaos. Awesome. We don't make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this. Yeah, goddamn right. You should know. I should know what? You said I should know. Oh, Are you sure? Shit. Oh, man. He's a really good shot. Okay. Come on. Oh, she knows. She's gonna get. She's gonna get the cane. She's gonna get that cane. She will. Oh shit. Q! E! Alright! I found something! Oh, oh, shit. You can always trust it, right? Oh my god. Great, now, now I have to, I honestly have to make this choice. Well, she does have the gun. It would be bad. No, oh, Christ. Oh, my God. Well, let's go. There goes Doug. They got Doug. They got Zombie? Go. Let's get out of here. Wow! Are you kidding me? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. All right, let's go. Come on. Especially a good friend. <laughs> that guy was gonna let us die. What an asshole. We went and got fucking medicine for that guy. And he was gonna let us get killed. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. It really is. My god, that one guy. That sounds like the shit is going down over there. Okay, where where is that asshole that fucking punched me? I think I need to go. So it left. Yeah, I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I don't even know what that was about. Alright. 
You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Well, anyway. See you around. Oddly enough, something like this would really cause us to question human nature. A lot of shit would just... A lot of the rules of society would just be thrown out of the window. It's not easy. I saw that douchebag, like, way over here. Are you serious? I can't I can't even go that way? Really? Thank you. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah. We do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. So we can only hope, right? You got it. Great. So... Can we talk to Mr. Oh, well, we can't go that way. We already talked to Kenny. Here we go. We can talk to Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. It's kind of sad. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Yeah, that would have been nice, huh? Well, there's that. I guess we can talk to the kids. They're alright with that. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, yeah, this kid's got, like, severe ADD. <laughs> Way too hyperactive. Sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Oh, boy. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another... <laughs> There's that duck again. You Damn it. You like my daughter? Yeah. She's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Well, cat's out of the bag there. Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. The hell? The music suddenly changed. We're lucky. I'm pretty sure we're st we're still supposed to be sad about this shit. But now it's just like. Oh, that's the sound of us winning this thing. 
me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. If we block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch, we could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. <laughs> so you yeah, say? You're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. No, it won't. Not a chance. Look at that. And the power goes out. You just had to go and say it, didn't you? You had to do it. Great. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Oh. Uh. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. Well, they're zombies. They don't need to eat. They do it because it's okay. impulse. In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry about us. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> that guy's screwed. What are you doing, guy? No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> Looks like we have more moral choices ahead for us then, huh? <laughs> this game is fucking crazy. So here we go. Honesty. Lied to Herschel. You and 36% of players lied. Well, he did say we had to lie, even though he told me I was bad at it. Who would you save, Duck or Sean? You and... 47% players chose... 47% oh, of players chose Sean? Really? That means 50... 53% chose to save Duck. Fuck that guy. Duck. What an asshole. Yeah, I, I sided with Kenny. I gave... I gave Irene the gun, of course. Of course. And I chose Carly. That's right! Choose Carly. Carly's awesome. I feel bad for Doug, but still. Carly's, Carly's good people, you know? That is the end of the first chapter of Walking Dead, A New Day. The Walking Dead, A New Day, or what have you. It seems like that gave us a little bit more of an origin story to Glenn. It seems like he was there in uh, Macon, I believe we were. We were in Macon. And once he heard the distress call, then he, he ended up joining up with Rick's group over in Atlanta. So that's how we got there, apparently. It's pretty great. I really, uh, this is the first chapter out of five, I believe, and then there's the DLC chapter, which is 400 days. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, what can I say? You know, I, I sat down, played this all through in probably two hours or something, the first chapter anyway, is pretty good. I, I say, I, I like it very much, the fact that there's a lot of weight behind your choices, and the fact that if you take too long, well, then the game chooses for you, and you're just like, well, fuck, but... It's really good. I it's very, very, very good. I, I enjoyed it a lot. It's pretty awesome stuff. It seems like a lot of drama is gonna go down in in the second the second chapter, which is kind of one of those things that sets The Walking Dead apart from a lot of other zombie apocalypse things where it's not so much about just the zombies and the killing, but it's about the human element and what happens to society when society is faced with something like this and how it gets broken down and, um, you know, true human, you see true human nature, you know, that type of thing, so pretty interesting, I will say, uh, but uh, that's probably going to be it for me for now. We're going back here to the title screen and whatnot. And we should have the second chapter. Let's see, we have 
we go back into here, we're already done with episode one, and I'm pretty sure if I load that, I can go into episode two. So we'll be doing that another day, but thank you for joining me. I really enjoyed it. It was pretty cool. There's a bunch of parts. I mean, there's a lot of talking, a lot of, uh, a lot of story involved, so at some points I just kind of cut myself off just so that we could see and interact and uh, see where the story went. But for the most part, I really enjoyed it. I hope you, hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, and stick around for chapter two. So that is The Walking Dead, first chapter, and it was really fun. So I'll see you later, guys, and thank you for joining me. Peace.